and welcome to another Bytes of Intelligence video. Here we're going to look at another logic problem. You have 10 identical bags, each containing 10 identical looking coins. All of the coins in one of these bags are counterfeit, and all of the coins in the other bags are genuine. Every genuine coin weighs 10 grams, and every fake weighs 11 grams. You have an analytical scale, a scale that weighs one thing and tells you the exact weight, like a kitchen scale that can determine the exact weight of any number of coins. What is the minimum number of weighings needed to identify the bag with the fake coins? Why don't you pause the video, have a go, and once you're ready, play it again. Okay, so you can see that we have 10 bags and we wanna try and find the one with the fake, uh, the fake coins in them. So a basic initial approach could simply be just weigh every single bag. So we weigh this bag, we weigh this bag, and so on, and we just, check if um, so we empty the coins onto the scale and if it's 100 grams because that's 10 times 10 then it's fine if it's um, 11 times 10 so if it's 110 grams then we know we found the counterfeit bag but obviously that can't be the minimum because that's 10 10 weighings that's a lot let's see if we can minimize that um, okay so what next maybe we could split it in half empty all the coins from this side so we have five um, we have 50 coins, 50 coins times 10, we're expecting 500 grams on the scale. If it is 500 grams, then we can discard all of these coins and do the same with this side, split it into two or, well, two and three, weigh this one. If it's the expected weight, then we can, you know, get rid of it. If not, we can carry on until we find the exact bag, which, um, you know, would have the, the fake coins in. So we can carry this on. So that's like one weighing here then there's second weighing here, um, then the third weighing would be, so we can like split it here, um, and we can measure, um, the, uh, so we can measure the, the mass of um, these these coins. Um, if it's expected, so you know, if it's gonna be 20 times 10, if it's gonna be, um, sorry, 20 times 10, if that's 200 grams, then we know we've got, you know, fine, uh, the correct bags, and we've straight away got this. If not, then we have to change it up and, um, find that find um the ones out of these two but overall i think the max is one two three and then let's say this um we we didn't know out of these two which one was the fake then we'd have to do maximum i think four um so four weighings but can we do better than that okay so the way that we're going to do this is we're going to number the bags one to ten as you can see here um and the really smart solution of this logic problems comes from the fact that we have 10 bags in every, uh, sorry, 10 coins in every bag. So what if we took one coin from this bag? So from this first bag, what if we took one coin? From the second bag, what if we took two coins? Three coins from the third bag and so on. So each of these, we take out however many um, coins as the, the, the number on the bag. Okay. So once we do this, um, we take all of these coins that we've measured, uh, we've taken out, and we put them all onto the weighing scale um, and, and see what we're expecting. So let's say that we take all of these bags. Um, so let's say we, we, we this, this bag um, is the weight of all of these coins we've taken out. Um, and then we're expecting a number to come out on this scale. Okay, so let's say for, for just to, to understand, what, what if all of the coins are normal and they were all fine? So how many coins have we actually taken out? We've taken out... One plus two, so one coin from the first bag, two coins from the second bag, three plus four plus five plus six plus seven plus eight plus nine plus ten. Okay, so we want to find the sum of these. Um, you may already know a formula, which is a half n n plus one, which is the sum of the first n natural numbers. Um, if you want to know how that works at the end, I'm going to derive that for you quickly. Um, but let's just say that we want to take the sum of these quickly. So what we'll do is we'll do half times 10 times 11. That's equal to 5 times 11, so 55. Okay, so if they were all, um, so we've taken out 55 coins, and if they were all just fine, we'd have 55 times 10, we're expecting 550 grams. But if we weigh all these coins, and let's say, for example, we get, um, I'm going to put on here 553 grams. Okay, so, so what does that tell us? So if we have 553 grams on the scale, that means we have 553 minus 550, we have three extra grams. And how could we have got three grams? Well, that means if every, gram, if every coin is one gram extra, 
if we've got three extra rounds, we've got three fake coins. And the only way to get three fake coins is from bag three, because we only put we only picked three coins out of them. If, for example, um, we, we didn't get 553 and we had, for example, five, um, you know, uh, 555 grams. Okay, so once again, we do 555 minus 550. Ah, five grams extra. Okay, so how could we have got five grams extra if every coin, every fake coin is one gram uh, greater in mass than the normal coin? Okay, so we have five grams extra. It must have come from bag five because we've taken out five coins only from this bag and all of those were counterfeit. I hope you get kind of what, what's going on. And by this method, that means we find the difference between the weight which we measure on the scale and the 550 grams we're expecting. And that number, simply the difference between those two weights, indicates the number of fake coins weighed. And that means we can find the number of the bag with the fake coins. So actually the real answer is just one weighing only is needed to answer this problem. I think that's a really neat solution to something which you would expect to be maybe four or five weighings, but you can actually do that entire problem and find the counterfeit bag in just one way. Okay, and just before we end this video, I'm just gonna quickly prove this formula um, of the sum of the first n natural numbers. Um, it just uses, you know, just um, secondary school mathematics. So if you have encountered it, you should, you should know what I'm talking about, but let, let's see. So let's just call it sum of n is one plus two, plus three, plus four, all the way until n. Okay, um, and so this is an arithmetic series, and we know that the sum of arithmetic series is simply n over two, two a plus n minus one d, where n is a number of terms, a is the first term, and d is a difference, the common difference between the terms. So here we're simply just you know, we're just adding one to each of these. Okay, so can we work out the sum of the first 10 natural numbers, which is what we want to do here, where natural numbers is simply a positive integer. So this is the sum of the first 10 natural numbers. Okay, so S of 10 is equal to 10 over two, two times one, since one is our first term, plus nine, because we do 10 minus one, nine times D. So what's that equal to? This is five, two, plus nine, five times 11, 55. So 55 is the answer. So we had 55, gra uh, 55 coins. And then we said that if it was, everything was fine, we'd have 55 times 10, but we know that there will be some, um, some fake coins and we can work out exactly which coin was fake just by measuring the difference between 550 and the measured weight on the weighing scale. Hope that makes sense and if you did like it please leave a like and leave any comments in the uh, YouTube comment section. Thank you very much for watching.